Welcome back to Blender Daily. Blender 2.93 is finally released and with it we are getting lots of awesome new features. If you haven't done so already, go over to blender.org slash downloads and get the newest update. There are already a few videos out there on the new features, so in this one I want to focus on the smaller changes and options you might haven't heard of yet. Let's get started. In previous versions we were already able to mute notes with the shortcut M. In 2.93 however, we now have the possibility to mute note connections without actually disconnecting them. For this simply hold down Alt and Control while dragging with the right mouse button over the connection. Do the same again to unmute. This works in the shader, compositor and geometry note editor. A very small but nonetheless valuable update was implemented to the file browser. You might know the shortcut numpad period that we can use in the 3D viewport and outliner to quickly zoom in on the selected object. This now also works for selected files in the Blender file browser. Another minor change was made to the image editor. We now have the option to quickly mirror images along the horizontal and vertical axis with the flip option. If you want those changes to be permanent, you need to save the image before closing Blender. When sculpting, we now have the option to quickly switch the object we are editing with the transfer sculpt mode option. Unfortunately, there's no shortcut applied to this function, but you can add your own by right clicking on it and then choose assign shortcut. Finally, let's talk about geometry nodes. They now have a dedicated workspace with a 3D viewport, geometry node editor and the new spreadsheet editor to inspect attributes. A really cool thing that we have never seen in Blender nodes before is the possibility to plug multiple node connections into the same input. This makes a lot of sense for some geometry nodes, like for example joint geometry. A node tree that previously looked like this can now be achieved with a single node. We now also have mesh primitive options that allow us to bring in new primitives directly in the geometry node editor. For example, we can bring in a UV sphere and procedurally adjust the resolution and size of it. This is only a fraction of the exciting new features for the geometry nodes. There are a lot more new nodes and features implemented and we can still expect more to come in future updates. That's it for this video. You can learn more about other new features by clicking on the videos over here. I am Nick from Blender Daily. See you in the next one.